So first of all, let me just say, oh my gosh, I have gotten so many comments, so many messages on Instagram. I have quite a few subscribers recently. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are all one of my favorite things this November. All jokes aside, some of my favorite videos on YouTube are like the what's in my bag, what am I using, my November favorites. So today I'm going to do exactly that and tell you guys my Korean lifestyle favorites of November. As you know, I came back to Korea this November and so I've been slowly transitioning my products and lifestyle options back into Korean things. And so I have a number of products here that I have been loving that are from Korea that I wanted to share with all of you. I am, however, going to cheat <laughs> on my first thing and just tell you guys how much I'm absolutely loving the Carez Lilac Iris Powder Body Butter. This was a gift from my mom. My mom gets the Cause Box. It has a new name now. It's called All True. And she passed this on to me. And I just can't say enough good things about this. This is really nice for the body. It's very thick. It has a beautiful fragrance to it. I'm not someone who loves a lot of fragrance in my products, uh, particularly for my face. But the skin on the body is able to tolerate fragrance uh, quite a bit better than the actual face. So I will use this on my hands and my elbows and my legs, especially right now that it's getting really cold and I'm super dry. Anyway, so that's my cheat. My cheat is out of the way. Sticking with skincare. We're, they're over here, of course. I have two cleansers to talk to you guys about. This is the On The Body Rice Therapy Cleanser. I picked this up at Olive Young. It was on sale for only about 5,000 won or about $5 USD. I'm someone who does double cleansing because I do wear makeup and I also wear a lot of sunscreen. So I'll always go in with an oil cleanser and then follow it up with another foaming cleanser to help clean the skin that has been underneath whatever I've been wearing throughout the day. I picked this guy up just because it was on sale and I thought oil cleansers, yeah, some are better than others, but for the most part, they get the job done. And I've absolutely fallen in love with this. I think that this is the best oil cleanser that I've ever used. I can't believe it was only $5. What is there to say about this other than it's extremely emollient, it removes everything very thoroughly. But what I also really like about it is that it does feel cleaning and it also rinses off quite cleanly. <laughs> it rinses off very well. Some oil cleansers, I feel like I'm continuously going in, trying to rinse it off, and I can still feel a residue on my skin. I don't get that feeling with this guy. Could really highly recommend this product to you. And then the next guy was really surprising to me. This is the Happy Bath Facial Yogurt Foam, and this is the, <laughs> this is the really hydrating variant. This I picked up at Daiso for about two or three thousand won, so about two or three dollars, and I just needed a foaming facial cleanser. I didn't want to break the bank. I once again thought, how bad could this be? I've seen this in a lot of my friends' houses, and so I really thought, well, if it's good enough for some of my friends, it's just a facial cleansing foam. They don't need to be expensive. They just need to get the job done. Went and picked it up, was blown away by just how nice this works. This does not leave my face feeling overly stripped and dry, but it does a great job cleansing. Not only that, but it has a really nice, luxurious texture to it, and it smells absolutely wonderful. When it comes to fragrance in rinse-off products, that's okay. Leave-on products, they're a no-go for me. Now, sticking with the skincare train, I'm moving on to the Make Prem, I think it's actually called, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a lightweight sun fluid for face and body care. The texture of this bottle is kind of sticky. It's always been sticky, and so it picks up on fingerprints and just really anything it touches um, horribly well. So this got really dirty and grimy within days of me owning it. Don't care for the packaging too much. The whole like system, the whole abs like like silhouette and applicator of it are just fine, 
but the actual plastic that they used for this I really just don't care for. Anyway, there's not much to say about this other than it works extremely well for face and body. It plays well with makeup, it looks great on its own, it feels lightweight, it doesn't feel overly sticky or dry, it's just a good sunscreen. Now we're moving on to my last skincare product, and this is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. Now everyone talks about this, everyone loves this, and I really like it too, but I also have a love-hate relationship with it. Let's talk about the cons first. The texture of this is really quite strange. It's a very dry oil-like consistency. Not only that, but it honestly leaves my hands smelling horrible, <laughs> frankly. When I apply this in the morning or if I apply it in the evening, my hands have this really strange, earthy fragrance to them for quite a while. And the thing is, is that it's, it's not normally a fragranted product. It's just something about this formula that has a really quite weird scent to it when left on the skin. Will I be repurchasing this? I honestly don't know just yet, but I have noticed a true transformation in my skin while using this. This really does a wonderful job hydrating the skin as well as providing some brightening. So for the results that I've noticed with this vitamin C serum, I want to say I'll keep using it, but honestly, the like the scent that it leaves just on me is it's just it's just bizarre. Now we're going to talk about the two makeup products that I have chosen this month. That's the Pity Pitta Eyebrow Pencil. It's called the Speedy Skinny Brow. Now I'm not someone who regularly does their eyebrows, but I have some sparse areas of my eyebrows and areas where I actually have very light hairs. So sometimes if I want to show off my eyebrows or I'm doing a different hairstyle that day, I will want to fill in my brows just a little bit. And this looks so natural, it goes on beautifully, it blends, and it also stays all day. I can't say much about it because it it just does its job. It does everything I want it to do, it does everything it says it does, and this was only about 5,000 won or about five dollars. And to anyone who has been a longtime subscriber to this channel, you know that I love cushions and that I love cushion makeup, and this happens to be my favorite cushion these days. This is the Laneige Neo Cushion in the dewy variant. This looks beautiful over textured patches. It can be light or it can be very buildable to medium coverage. This plays really well with products that I own already. I can bronze over top of this. I can powder it. I can use a beauty blender to apply this. I can use a brush to apply it. I think that the people at Laneige know how to make a cosmetically elegant product. And while I don't really care so much for their skincare, I do think that they are one of the most well-rounded makeup companies here in South Korea. Cannot recommend this cushion enough to people who want to try a cushion. I also own and love the matte variant or the mint green colored cushion of this. However, because it's winter here in South Korea right now, I'm a little dry and so I'm looking for something that is dewier and more hydrating. Now, onto my Korean study buddy for the month, and that has been the 100 Days Korean Grammar Challenge. I'm also doing the vocab challenge because I find that my Korean vocabulary is my weakest spot. I think that Suing Karas has done a beautiful job creating a system that lets people study in a fun way for a little bit every single day. So I have been really putting the 100 Days Korean Grammar and Vocab Challenges to the test. I can definitely make the like 10, 15 minutes it takes out of my day to study some Korean. Soon Carrots is a beautiful company. They have wonderful staff. They are very, very kind to content creators. And if you haven't already seen my full review on the system, please go ahead and check that out. It'll be linked below. And if you're interested in picking up one of the Sue and Carrots products, I do have a discount code with them. It is my name, Kieran, in all caps, and you'll get $2 off. The next thing that I am really loving because the mask mandate is still going strong here in South Korea are these masks by C and S. I have tried so many different masks here in South Korea and I 
always get that ear pain and that headachey feeling when I wear masks that are too tight or if they're too loose they just fall right off of my face and these masks have the best ear loops of any mask I've ever used they are tough yet soft and they don't have a really intense pressure to them so I can wear these for hours on end without getting any irritation without getting any headaches or ear aches these are the only masks that I pick up. Maybe even the best thing about these masks is that they're extremely affordable. You can get a pack of 10 of these for only about five or 6,000 won. And then the last, and of course the most important, is coffee. Here in Korea, the little mixed coffees are extremely popular. And while these are no substitute for the real thing, I am a huge fan of mixed coffee because you can make them really quickly and essentially get the same or at least a similar experience. I was someone who religiously used and bought Kanu brand mixed coffee here in South Korea, but Jack, my good friend and cafe owner here in Daegu, South Korea, he recommended Edia coffee mix and actually sent me a box of it while I was quarantining up in Incheon. These mixed coffees are phenomenal. They taste just like a nice home-brewed coffee. These are going to be the coffee mixes that I purchase from now on because they get the job done, but nothing beats a nice real cup of strong caffeinated black coffee. Yeah, that's it. Everyone, those are the products that I have been loving this November. Can't believe it's December. I'm having a moment right now. 2021 just went so fast. Leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this. I love to make them. And if you guys want to see them, I'll keep making them. If you want to support this channel, like, subscribe. And if you're interested in the Sue and Carrots line, make sure to use my coupon code. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.